So welcome to the Miami-Dade Public Library System. My name is Ray Baker and I am the director. Well, you know, we would probably um, argue that we're not that the internet is not really the main source of information. Um, it is obviously having an impact on our libraries. Um, print and other physical media is still in very high demand here at Miami-Dade Public Library, but we are clearly adapting to providing a lot more digital content. Um, we are essentially uh, a physical and digital content provider of a broad range of subject matters to a population of 2.7 million people in Miami-Dade County. Uh, certainly the physical media is still in strong demand, but we are seeing a great deal of growth on the digital content from ebooks to audiobooks to digital music and digital movie downloads. Yeah, that's a very good question and of course over the last year, year and a half, that's become an even larger question of the role of libraries in that area. And we've been doing a project with a group called the News Literacy Project and we've been playing a much larger role in information literacy, um, teaching teens and adults on how to identify fake news, how to figure out what good sources of information are, um, how to identify bad information on the internet, and how to use the library to find those good sources. Well, what we really need to do is train the customers, um, because accessing this digital content is much different than walking into the library and browsing the shelves. You have to understand how to use your digital devices. You have to understand how to log in to a third-party portal in order to get an ebook. So we are working on making more training videos and things like that for our patrons so that they don't get lost in this kind of you know, new digital realm that's out there. And it also requires additional training for our librarians who, you know, more often than a typical reference question, they're getting questions as, how do I use my cell phone? How do I you know, use a mouse even? There's a very you know, broad um, skill level between our, our, our residents from the most basic of computer use to people who, you know, just need help how to turn on their cell phone or turn on their computer or save a document to a file. Well, we do well, also in this branch, but also online. Um, we have a lot of different job resource online programs that are available to tell, teach people different skills, whether it's in um, you know, computer technology, like lynda.com is a resource that we use that people can go in and learn how to you know, learn the Outlook suite things that might help them qualify for a job when people ask them if, they're, you know, if they have that experience. Um, we have a, something called Job Career Accelerator that allows people to go in and do job searches. Um, we also use, work with Career Source of South Florida, which is an organization that matches up people with jobs and usually they use our libraries to um, help people out in that area. That's a very good question and something that we put a lot of time and thought into. Uh, one of the programs that we have is an online database called Linda. Many young professionals in the area have, have heard of it. Um, you can log on with your library card and you can take uh, training and courses um, from industry professionals. These are videos uh, that are taught by industry professionals and it's usually tech. It can be um, coding, it can be um, animation, web development, all these sort of things. So if someone's looking to beef up their resume or change careers at some point, um, this is a very good option for them. Um, other things that we have online as well um, are practice tests for um, licensure. So it could be um, nursing, it could be teaching, it could be electrician's license. We have those available. Um, the practice tests online for free as well. So there's a whole, it really runs the gamut. If someone's trying to go back to school, again, to change their profession, um, they could use tutor.com if they want to beef up their math or physics or chemistry skills, for example. So these are all things that can benefit, benefit people um, in the community without even having to set foot in the library 24 hours a day at their disposal. My name is Shauna Hinsey and I'm the main library manager. Working with the school board is something that we put a lot of attention on as well as with groups like the Children's Trust who are you know extraordinarily focused on children's programs throughout the county. Um, you know we consider ourselves almost an extension of the schools for many of our programs like our summer reading program. Um, also here we'll be soon providing an after-school tutoring program 
Um, and these are things that, you know, while we are not officially educators, you know, we recognize that our partnerships with the schools, like on summer reading list and other things that are met, mentioned by or recommended by the school board, are important for us to adapt so that when families look at the library, they know that content that we're providing is also recommended by schools and school administrators and teachers. And actually, I do want to mention one partnership that we're doing with the school board right now. Um, it's called the Community Share Project. And it's basically we are sharing a lot of the ebooks that we purchase for children with the school board such that kids can ac access those ebooks while they're in school from their school computers. So that's one thing that we just started back in October and is quickly, I think it was at 14 schools and is going to go to 160 schools pretty soon. So it's very important for us to know what the school board is recommending to their children so that we can purchase it here in the library to make it available and to help offset the costs that families may have in having to pur purchase learning content. And in addition to that, you know, we also have several children's focused programs on our website that you can access with your library card, um, like Miss Humblebee's Academy and other child kind of early literacy development tools that kids can, you know, click around through and you know, get a head start on getting into kindergarten. That, that's one of the reasons we're here for. Any, any reason that anyone wants to come to our library and use the computers or internet access is why we're here. Um, you can come in and, and the traditional method is two hours a day per library card, but we're more than flexible. If someone needs to come in and do training um, or take a test or learning online, uh, we're more than willing to accommodate them for the time that they need. Um, we also have laptops available, so if someone prefers to sit in a quieter area of the library, we can accommodate that as well. Thank you.